Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Mid-July, 1945. No one on the home front is worried about keeping his house warm in the coming winter. No one, that is, except C.J. Potter, Deputy Administrator of Solid Fuels. Fuel is still our silent partner in the battle against Japan. It is still fighting on land and sea and in the air, and will continue to fight until complete victory is ours in the Pacific. You can do your part in making the most of limited fuel supplies by storing whatever coal or fuel you can just as soon as you can. Stretch your fuel supply by cleaning and repairing your heating equipment, installing heating controls. Save up to 30% of your fuel by winterizing your home or building. Insulate, weather strip, caulk cracks, order or make yourself storm doors and windows. Remember, Last winter was no picnic. Your government urges, prepare for winter now. A bunch not at all concerned with Jack Frost, the GIs on a multi-day furlough from Germany, living the life of Riley on the French Riviera. Army Staff Sergeant Robert Blake describes the scene from his hotel room in Nice. Here they are given rooms overlooking the blue waters of the Mediterranean and service which up to now has been only a GI's dream. They remember dreaming about these very things when they were up at those most advanced bases in Germany, trying to imagine what it would be like to wake up in a comfortable bed with sheets, get up and shave with hot water, find a morning newspaper at their door, and chew shine, ready to go, as the army says. Well, here in Nice, that dream is realized. There's no reveille, no formation, no first sergeant barking at them, nothing to do except eat, sleep, lie on the beach, go boating, golfing, or fishing, or anything that for long years they couldn't do. In New York, with a newspaper delivery strike continuing, Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia uses his weekly radio broadcast to keep the kids up to date on their favorite comic strips. The next picture we'll see Dick Tracy. You know the fine type of Dick Tracy? He's been a detective so long, and he still has that slender form. Lou Valentine, why do our detectives get fat, I wonder. Well, anyhow, here's Tracy. He's asking, the only vehicle that left the house at that time was one of your laundry trucks. I'd like to question the driver. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, Subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.